Hello, I'm Laura. I'm the CEO of VMV Hypoallergenics. We're here to save the world's skin with the safest, most proven, effective care on the planet. How we make sure we're the safest on the planet, we take published studies of patch tests done on thousands and thousands of people, and these are independent studies. The list of currently there are 109 top contact allergens, and we omit as many of them as possible from the formulation or all of them from the formulation and that you can see very quickly with a VH rating actually which is on every product we make it's it's this right here and a VH number stands for validated hypoallergenic the number that follows shows how many allergens are omitted from the formulation or not in the formulation so for this and for all of grandma mini it would be VH minus 109 over 109 if there were an allergen in a formulation, because it's unlikely that you would be allergic to all 109. If there were an allergen included in the formulation, it would say VH minus 108 or 106 or whatever. And then there would be an asterisk. And then when you go to the ingredients list on the back, you would see the asterisk and the allergens included underlined. So you can actually really, really clearly see what the allergens are. If they're not allergens that you patch tested positive for, you can use the product without a problem. So the VH rating is really helpful at helping you figure out exactly what you can use. In terms of the most effective, thanks to my mom, who's our founding dermatopathologist and who herself has over 200 or something, we have over about 80 clinical studies published in peer-reviewed journals around the world. So we do take safety and efficacy very, very seriously, and no more so than for our mom and baby line, which is not just for moms and babies, but for moms and babies with particularly complex skin conditions or sensitive skin. Today, I will be talking to you about our grandma mini mom and baby line for moms and babies, even moms and babies with very sensitive skin. Before I get into that, please remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to click the notification bell so you don't miss new content as it comes up. This line was created when I was pregnant basically with my first baby because I started freaking out. We do have skin allergies in my family. Um, my sister is hyper allergic to everything. I had acne and allergies and as I've gotten older I've also developed um, rosacea and seborrheic dermatitis so I knew there was a fairly good chance my children would be allergic plus knowing fragrance is a top top allergen preservatives are top allergens I struggled to find mom and baby products that had none of those things which I wanted for my own kid um, in part also because if I was going to be holding my baby I didn't want my own allergies, contact allergies to fragrance to be triggered. Um, so there, that's really what happened. In fact, the day it happened, I was looking for a baby wash in a store and I remember freaking out because I couldn't find anything that was really truly fragrance free. There were some stuff with masking fragrances, but everything smelled really nice and beautiful, but it it's not what I was looking for. So I, I called my mom from the store and kind of all panicky was like, we need a line for moms and babies. Because also, moms go through different skin issues, right? When we're pregnant, oh, my concerns, let's see, with Madison, with my firstborn, I had acne breakouts um, that all came back from like high school on my chest, my back, my face. With my son, my hyperpigmentation just leveled up to a whole other level. So all of a sudden I had melasma that I had never had to deal with before. Some pregnant women have to deal with PUPPP, which is pruritic or tacarial papules and plaques of pregnancy, which is really, really itchy, very red. Other women deal with their atopic dermatitis flaring up, very, very dry skin, itchy skin, an increase in sensitivity. And when you're breastfeeding, when you're nursing, you also sometimes have to deal with very painful nipples that are actually wounded. Um, 
So there's a lot that goes on. And I was personally invested in this line. I had a very difficult um, experience nursing both my kids. I had a very severe mastitis, but with my first, I ended up having such a severe mastitis, I did need to have the surgery and I was devastated. I was so convinced I would be the type of mom to breastfeed for, for two years and I couldn't. And I was just so devastated. The whole experience of the mastitis and the surgery did trigger a pretty bad postpartum depression that lasted a good year and a half. And then for my second baby, I was determined not to go through that again. So I, I got a different lactating coach. Her name is Zenny, and she's awesome. And she was much more understanding. But throughout that whole period, I also noticed major skin changes as my stress levels were going up and the depression was kicking in and all that. So I did have problems on my chest from the nursing itself and the difficulties latching. And then I had my own breakouts and, you know, uh, my hair going crazy and my seborrheic dermatitis going crazy and all this misery sort of coming out on my skin. So this line definitely helped me, especially with my second baby, where I felt like I knew, you know, I was better prepared for what could come and I, you know, took better care of myself and it was a much better experience all around. A quick tip on skincare while pregnant. There's a wonderful article that we have on vmvinskin.com that really details um, products that we recommend and don't recommend while you're pregnant and nursing and also explains why. As of now, there aren't a lot of studies that show any cosmetic ingredient can penetrate the epidermis and get through the dermis into the bloodstream, into the uterus and to the baby. Um, but there's some things to look out for like steroids, which penetrate the dermis. But if your doctor thinks you really need a topical steroid, you should take it. Just don't take it long term. Topical steroids are just not for long term use. It's got several health risks. Another thing to avoid would be retinoic acid. Um, because it is a known teratogen which can affect the formation of the fetus so for these things definitely double check with your gynecologist and your dermatologist certainly anything that you imbibe or ingest you want to check with your pediatrician and your gynecologist but cosmetics it's not all that much that can penetrate the skin and really get to the baby that said our sort of best practice rule is particularly until the third trimester um, avoid actives that are not immediately washed off. And the Grandma Mini line can substitute for some of the other active ingredients that you normally use. The Grandma Mini Mom and Baby line has five products. The Cool and Clean Baby Wash, uh, Kid Gloves Hand Sanitizer, we call it Make It Clean Hand Gel, uh, Mommy Coddling All Over Lotion, and, and they won't fit on my hand, <laughs> and the Oils Well. Uh, which is virgin coconut oil with monolaurin plus the big brave boo-boo balm. So I'll get into those one by one uh, in a bit. But in general, the main, main thing for it is less ingredients. We try to keep it as few as ingredients as possible to reduce the risk of a reaction, as gentle as possible, and obviously allergen free, very, very allergen free. And we focused also on a certain level of antimicrobial protection, not antibiotics, because we didn't want to build on antibiotic resistance and all that, but using monolaurin. And monolaurin is wonderful because it comes from the coconut, but it also exists naturally in breast milk. It plays a part in the infant's natural immunity and, and defense system. Um, we also wanted to make a lot of use of virgin coconut oil because similarly it's extremely uh, gentle, barrier repair, antimicrobial. Virgin coconut oil is also added to uh, some infant foods for premature babies to help them out. So we thought, this is great. Let's make a line that's really centered on allergen-free, very gentle, few products, and making a lot of use of or organic virgin coconut oil and uh, monolaurin. So that's sort of the background of the line. The first product of the line is Coo and Clean, which is a hair and body wash really uh, for babies, but also for parents or really anyone with very, very, very sensitive skins and scalps. I don't know if you'll be able to see how short the ingredient list is. It's over here, but it really, the, you know, it's very, very short, very simple formulation, very, very gentle. For newborns, you don't even need to wash a newborn's face besides just sort of patting with clean water. 
Um, but for the hair and body of babies, this is a wonderful product. Really, really gentle, fragrance-free, allergenic, surfactant-free, just hyper, hyper gentle. Um, it's rather concentrated, so you only need a little bit and you can actually dilute it if you're using a baby bathtub. Um, you don't need a lot of it. You don't need a lot of it. It's very gentle. It's a really wonderful, wonderful product. There is no scent whatsoever, not even masking fragrance. So if you're looking for sort of an apple scented baby, it's not going to happen with this product <laughs> on purpose. And it does also contain monolaurin and virgin coconut oil and even green tea is an antioxidant. So it's a lovely product um, and makes for a nice sort of cuddly bath time. Next product in the line is Kid Gloves um, Hand Gel, right? Make it cleaner hand gel. It is a primarily monolaurin based hand sanitizer. The broad spectrum antimicrobial effects are really from the monolaurin. There are many, 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 many peer reviewed published clinical studies on monolaurin since the 1970s. We have a nice review of all of those. No, we have a nice review of many of those in vmvinskin.com if you want to take a look at that as a, an antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal even. So it's a wonderful alternative. It's far less drying. You can use this on the face as well if acne is uh, causing some problems or you can use id monolaurin gel for acne while pregnant because monolaurin is fine. It is found in breast milk naturally and it's coconut derived. It's really quite healthy and um, non-irritating, not drying, anti-inflammatory. It's, it's a wonderful product. Kid gloves you can use for yourself as a hand sanitizer, can use for your acne, and certainly for baby you can use it, you know, on your baby's hands. Just make sure it's dry. Um, I've used it to sort of clean up pacifiers that have fallen on the floor um, or toys and things like that. Again, just make sure it's dry. It's a great product. Next product in the line is the Mommy Coddling All Over Lotion. And people have asked me, what does Mommy Coddling actually mean? To Molly Coddle is to overindulge, right? To over pamper, to spoil. And I thought, if anyone needs that, it's new moms. So Mommy Coddling it is. It's a wonderful all over lotion. You can use it as a moisturizer for your face, body all over. Mommy Coddling All Over Lotion is great to share with baby. Um, it's got virgin coconut oil, it's got monolaurin, it's extremely gentle and smooth and yummy, 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 soft, and um, it feels amazing. And you can use it on face and body, and you can also use it on baby for baby massages and stuff like that. It is actually one of the standard products that we recommend in addition to Essence Hand and Body Smoother for atopic dermatitis daily as well. So one of our best sellers, really popular product. It feels just <sighs> amazing. So check it out. Next product in the line is the Oils Well. From Oils Well that ends well. It's called Oils Well Nurturing Do It Oil, which is our clinically published organic virgin coconut oil plus monolaurin. And it's great for everything. We have another article on vmvinskin.com about like 12 uses for a virgin coconut oil for moms and babies. And it's, there's a lot. So again, it can help reduce some of the inflammation and itch for PUPPP and stretch marks and things like that. It's a great moisturizer head to toe. It's wonderful if your hair, like mine, got really dry in the second pregnancy. It's great for your hair. It's great for removing gum. It's great for um, really bad catastrophes. If there's a diaper situation that's really messy and sticky, it makes for a wonderful cleanser for the area. You put it on um, on cotton balls and you, you use it to clean the area of poop, etc. And um, it also helps prevent diaper rash. Uh, it can be used as a massage oil. If you have keratosis pilaris, you can use it for that. We have a video on that as well. It's just, there's so many wonderful uses. You could use it as a bath oil. You could do it for mom and baby massages. It just on and on and on. It's wonderful for both mom and baby. And again, virgin coconut oil has fatty acids native to skin, so it's wonderful. Um, it forms a palisade when, when it's applied. It doesn't feel at all greasy. It's absorbed super quickly into the skin. 
and it provides uh, barrier protection and a certain level of occlusion, which is really important for very, very sensitive and very, very dry skin conditions. Wonderful product. Also, with your pediatrician's guidance only, please, it can be used to help with constipation. For you as an adult, same thing. Talk to your gastroenterologist or your, your physician to make sure it's okay for you. But virgin coconut oil taken can be great to help with constipation. And you can even add it to yeah, coffee if you're already in the coffee drinking state in those precious moments in between <laughs> feedings or pumping where you're allowed, you're allowing yourself coffee. You can do bullet coffee with this. Another use of oils well that's really good is on nipples that are sore and healing. You can apply because it is safe to ingest. Again, just triple check because every individual, every baby, every mom is different. So please triple check with your gynecologist and your pediatrician. But because it is safe to ingest, you can apply it on your nipples uh, to help heal um, wounds and, and soreness from nursing, from breastfeeding. Last but not least, definitely not one of our all-time best-selling products, this powerful, wonderful unguent. The Big Brave Boo Boo Balm is just the bomb. It is awesome. It, you know, we like calling it like a skin Swiss army knife. It does so much. It is ouchless. It is quick, anti-inflammatory, heals various little cuts. When I was a kid, when my mom was developing this product, I remember telling her, because here's the thing, some antibacterials, in addition to the worry about antibiotic resistance, some, anti some, some antibacterials are actually contact allergens. So we wanted an alternative. And I kept telling her, you know, when I was a kid, I remember all of the initial things you'd put on a wound would just make you shriek in agony. They were so painful and stingy. And she said, this won't be. And I was like, Pfft. and then she was right. So I just, I don't do that anymore. When she says something, I'll do something. I'm like, okay, <laughs> all right. Um, so it doesn't hurt. It's painless, it, ouchless. It's quick. It's, um, I also really like the fact that kids really love saying it. So I hear so many parents say that their kids are like, boo boo bomb, boo boo bomb, boo boo bomb. Every time that they get a boo boo, or their teddy bears get boo boos, or their, their siblings or parents get boo boos, the kids themselves love saying boo boo bomb. The big brave boo boo bum. <laughs> And there's some science behind the benefits of alliterative words with um, with language development, with intellectual development with kids. So I just, I get a kick out of that. But I also like the fact that kids feel empowered. It's like when you're a kid, one of the, one of the things that you're learning is, what can I do? Because I can't do so much yet. Boo Boo Bomb is one of those things that they're like, ooh, owie, and they get to put it on. Obviously, do not leave your children unsupervised with any product. I don't care how safe. But it is nice to see your kids playing doctor with Boo Boo Bomb, feeling empowered to sort of, you know, deal with little pain, self-soothe, and all that good stuff. So it is a wonderful little bomb. Uh, minor burns, cuts, abrasion. I wouldn't put Boo Boo Bomb right before a feeding on nipples, but in between feedings give it time to absorb uh it's really wonderful at dealing with some you know the soreness and some of the chafing and abrasions that also come from breastfeeding it boo boo bomb does so many things i mean especially if you're a new mom and you aren't sleeping you're getting so much done and uh, you gotta cook and you gotta blah, 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 all this stuff it can do so many things for you it could be a lip balm it can you know if you're rushing to a video call or whatever it could deal with flyaway hairs and do your eyebrow setting it just does so much so we keep this all around the house for the kids for us etc etc there is our mata baby which is very thick it is a thick purely physical sun and light screen on purpose the thickness is to provide further barrier protection from not just sun and light but also irritants and airborne contact allergens for example so, admittedly our mata baby you know, one of the bigger issues that we have with this right now is a packaging issue. We have to change the tube to make it easier to squeeze out because it is quite thick, again, on purpose for, you know, various protective reasons. But it, it does get quite difficult to squeeze out of the tube. What I do is I actually have, I bought online a really cheap tube, sque tube squeezer. So it goes in here and I roll it down. 
And then once it gets close to finished, I then just sort of squeeze it out. But I found that that works best for me. And I do apologize. It's an imperfect experience in that sense. And we are working to change the tube. Uh, but because of the pandemic, it's really slowed down our development, but we will get there. As an alternative, Armada Post Procedure is a great option as well. It's a little less thick um, and it's slightly tinted green, which is really wonderful for moms dealing with melasma and hyperpigmentation from both indoor and outdoor light. And it's as safe as Armada Baby for sun and light screen for babies. The way we would apply this in order uh, and I'll intersperse some stuff for, for moms for themselves as well or for parents. Cool and clean would be first. Again, this is for moms or for parents and babies, hair and body wash. And then you can use essence conditioner for you. If you're using it for your child, you can use essence conditioner as well. For a cleanser while pregnant or breastfeeding, any VMV cleanser is really fine. It's just a matter of preference. Uh, people tend to like our super skin cream cleansers and scrubs while they're pregnant. And then next is the kid gloves. Uh, Kid Gloves Make a Cleaner Hand Gel, which you can use as a hand sanitizer, uh, but also you can use if acne is a problem during pregnancy. Mommy Coddling All Over Lotion follows as a moisturizer for mom and for baby. If you're dealing with eczema, um, this would go on after the virgin coconut oil before your sun and light screen. And then oils well, right? Nurturing Do It Oil, Virgin Coconut Oil Plus Monolaurin as a moisturizer, massage oil, great for your hair, your lips, everything. Also good for atopic dermatitis. It's, it's great for so many things. It's not even funny. For diaper area cleaning, etc., etc., etc. And then the big brave boo-boo balm for all of life's boo-boos, basically, except a broken heart. But there's so much love in this thing that it might even help for that. Boo-boo balm is awesome. And then you would end with your sun and light screen for mom and for baby. I keep saying mom, but I guess I mean parents, right? Uh, mom or dad or other and babies. A wonderful tip I wanted to share with you guys for ouchless wound healing is... And, my, and this happened because my kid banged a, a closet door on her hand. The first thing I personally love to do is ice. So I'll try to get, like in this particular case with her, it was on her finger. I had her rest the finger on a block, of, like an ice pack. After a few minutes, when that was already getting numb, I then added a smaller, you know, the softer ice packs, ice gel type thing, gel pack rather, on top. So now it was sandwiched by ice. When it was really numb already, then I took the oils well, and I basically poured it on top. I didn't rub anything just to kind of give it an initial cleaning. And then I did a huge gob of boo boo balm on it. And then I dressed it with a bandage and that's all we did. And then when it was less sore, we gave it a good thorough cleaning with the, with cool and clean. Um, and then we redressed it. So virgin coconut oil, then the boo boo balm and dressed. And honestly, within a few hours, 24 hours, the improvement was so fantastic. And we just kept doing it in a few days, it was fine. But the key thing for me here was using the ice first to numb it so you can put the virgin coconut oil and no massaging, no spreading, just gobs, you know, and just drizzling. Um, and it was really a much more pleasant experience than anything I remember from my youth. And if you notice signs of infection, something becomes really inflamed, you don't see an improvement. Within a few hours, talk to a dermatologist or your pediatrician to see if something else needs to be done. That is the skinny on grandma minis, mom and baby care. I should really maybe change that name to parent and baby care. Hmm. If you have any suggestions, let us know in the comments. I'd like to know. Basically, it is sort of a triumph, I think, in hypoallergenicity, lack of allergens, in the use of virgin coconut oil, organic virgin coconut oil and monolaurin for parental and baby care. Um, let us know what you think in the comments. Let us know if you have any questions whatsoever about the line or anything that I didn't cover here that you'd like to know. We're really good about answering your questions. And certainly let us know if there's anything else you'd like us to cover in one of these videos. Please remember to follow us on Facebook and on Instagram and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks very much. I will see you next time.